Thank you for joining me on the Bounder BB Show. I'm based in Dallas, Texas, but I'm broadcast around the globe. And today, my guest is Jay Cresswell. He's the program director of Oasis Modern Jazz Station. Jay Cresswell, thank you so much for joining me today to talk about the Oasis Modern Jazz Station. Thank you so much for having us. It's my pleasure. Look, the Oasis FM radio station was a smooth jazz station of Dallas for 2000 right? Everyone in Dallas knew about the Oasis, including me. Then your station abruptly disappeared. What happened? Tell me. We had withdrawal. I understand that. <laughs> um, Oasis actually began in the late 80s and then moved to 107.5 in 1992. You heard it in every office and every business in North Texas. Very popular music yeah, at the time. Uh, even into the 2000s, uh, the Oasis in the 90s was in the top 10 of the ratings in Dallas-Fort Worth. Every time, every time. As the 2000s approached, things changed a little bit. The business model changed a little bit. And the ratings system changed a little bit, which made it harder for, and I use the word loosely, niche formats to exist as a full-fledged radio station. So what happened was uh, a new format came on 107.5. It was called Movin'. It was sweeping the country, and it swept the country for about two years and disappeared. So what we did at that time is we moved the Oasis to 107.5 HD2. Now, two years later, moving wasn't doing so well, and we replaced it with a Spanish station, which was called Mega 107.5, and all of the 107.5 HD stations were also Spanish, so we moved the Oasis to 103.7 HD2, where it still is today. Oh, okay. See, it always helps to get the backstory. Sure. Okay. So, you know, technology has created a lot of changes in just about every area of our lives today. So, you're calling yourself Oasis Modern Music. What is modern jazz? It's a great question. At first, uh, we tried to relaunch the Oasis to make it top of mind for people who didn't know we were still there. And so we thought a name change, even though it's still the Oasis, uh, instead of smooth jazz, it became modern jazz. It was merely a marketing ploy, but also at that time it helped us position the radio station. We added personalities. We had three mainstream personalities on there uh, telling you what was playing. And May I say very popular also too? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we figured it was time to do that. We launched a Facebook page. We called it Modern Jazz. So we had personalities, a new name, and a new effort put into people hearing the music in North Texas. Okay, so you and I are talking today because you want the listening and the viewing public to know that the Oasis is back, yes. the Oasis Modern Jazz. Tell us what's in store for old and new fans. Great question. Uh, old fans will not be disappointed. All the, all the cool stuff old is fans. still there. Exactly. Uh, all the cool stuff that the Oasis has always been is still there. Uh, however, we want to add to that. You know, anybody can just play the same stuff again and again and again and again. That was, yeah, excuse me, that was going to be my question. Yes. Is it going to be just a rehash of where I could find it somewhere else? Or this is going to really, really shake up the Dallas-Fort Worth area? It should shake up. Uh, it's a slow process, but yes, that is the goal. And specifically by playing some newer uh, modern jazz music and local artists, too. And that is something you can't find anywhere else. So we We're going to have to that. talk about the local artists. Yes, let's do that. Because those of you who are listening, you're going to definitely want to connect with him. There's a void in the jazz on the radio in Dallas-Fort Worth, and you have the opportunity to fill this void. Can I ask you about these new local artists? What are they going to do? Or how are you going to find them, rather? Well, great question. First of all, we know they're going to see this interview. And then we're going to use social media and we, our Facebook page and solicit the listeners, uh, who are your favorite local jazz artists? Tell us. Tell us what you like and tell us your favorite songs. And then we can reach out or the artist can reach out to us right there on our Facebook page. And then we'll connect. We talked about technology. So you'll be driving them, what, to your website? Or, how, you know, how are we going to make that connection? It's our Facebook page. Just Modern Jazz, the Oasis. It, just go to Facebook and search the Oasis and it'll take you there. Okay, sounds good. So I was privy to view a wonderful Dallas produced video. It's called Saxing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's produced locally. Talking about local, Key Band Productions and Unfair Records. And I heard the song on the Oasis. Yes. Is that what I can look forward to? Because this was sexy, tasteful, erotic jazz. And I loved it. So is that what you're going to be bringing back to us, which we 
have none of right now. You're right, and that is the goal. It's the, the song fits the vibe of the radio station. We don't need to label it. Is it a jazz song? Is it an R&B song? What kind of song? It doesn't matter. Does it fit the vibe of the radio station? It's new, it's local, it's very cool, has a great video. That's the kind of thing we're aiming for. I love that. So the Oasis is, you said earlier, on HD radio. How does that work? Because most of us probably don't know. Uh, our business has done a lousy job of mon uh, marketing HD radio. Here's what it is. They're little side channels that appear next to the main signal of the radio station. For example, first of all, you must have an HD radio to hear it. Okay. Um, if you tune to 103.7 and you have an HD radio, once it locks into its digital signal, you can go one click to the right, either tune it or seek it, and it will stop on 103.7 HD2. And that is where the Oasis is. Most people don't know that. They don't know how to do it. In fact, we're going to do a how-to video and put it on our Facebook page to show people how to do that. Oh, I love that. The other part of that that we don't touch upon a lot is the station is streaming itself anyhow and it's on the odyssey platform a-u-d-a-c-y as you can see behind us and there is a free app for odyssey and all of our radio stations are on there and you can find the oasis there so download the for go to the, the odyssey.com okay and, and download the or the or the app store or the app store yes. download the free app yes all right then and then i can get the oasis yes you can Oh, I'm going to be like, too cool. <laughs> so I want to thank you for being here. This is so exciting for the Dallas-Fort Worth area because I don't think there's been an outlet for a lot of different types of music. Sure. Uh, and you guys are saying that local talent actually has an opportunity to connect with the Oasis. Absolutely. And, you know, just locally, and I'm, not, I'm going to pick a big name here, Nora Jones. Yes. Booker T. Washington School, she's from Dallas. Um, there are others, and I just, I just thought of Mark Harper, who we used to play on the Oasis. He's local, he's really talented. Uh, Jamar Jones, Just Us, Sandra Kay, Christy Kruger, La Pompe. I, did, I said it with you the French accent there, yeah. <laughs> Jazz singer Lady Diamond, everybody knows about her. Tuxedo Junction, there are numerous North Texas artists that would fit on the Oasis. This is so exciting. I am so excited for them having an opportunity for us to hear them. Yes. And I'm excited the Oasis is back. And hopefully you're gonna be excited because this is big news in Dallas-Fort Worth area. So I wanna thank you, Jay, for talking about the Oasis, modern jazz to our listeners and our viewers. And we look forward to great things that you guys are gonna bring us. I appreciate you having me. This is the first step and you're helping us greatly. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here on the Bounder BB Show. As always, just Google me, Bounder BB Show. You can find me on streaming, FM. You can even find me in newspapers. I'll see you there.